Fans of the Gold Rush accident want reenactment from the show. Tony Beats of Gold Rush celebrates a special milestone. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video. So let's start the latest update. Lee was involved in an accident on Gold Rush where she unintentionally crashed a $500,000 vehicle into the ocean. It was mentioned on the broadcast that she would have probably perished in quicksand if she had veered a bit further to the side. As soon as the video was uploaded to Instagram, followers started criticizing her for the mishap. Leah has now responded to what transpired though. Fans are also criticizing Gold Rush for filming reenactments and following a script for the reality TV show. What you should know is as follows. The star of Gold Rush clarifies that the accident was not how it appeared on the show. The Gold Rush incident was reduced to Rick Ness speaking. Tony Beats, the star of Gold Rush, is currently commemorating a significant life achievement. Tony, one of the cast members of the Discovery Channel show with the highest success, has accomplished everything with the support of his family. That adds even greater significance to his most recent announcement. Tony explained why this is such a special moment in his life in the following passage. Tony Beats declares a unique day. Tony Beats has been a regular cast member since season 6 and has been on Gold Rush since season 2. Since he discovered 2,176 troy ounces of gold in season 7, he has been among the best gold miners. But he hasn't accomplished it by himself. Tony, his wife Minnie, and their kids have put a lot of effort into making their gold mining business a family business. Tony wished his wife Minnie a happy wedding anniversary on Facebook. 43 years ago, he captioned the photo. While you're having fun, time flies. We've spent a lot of that time together gold mining. However, it appears that this is only a small portion of the 40 years of enjoyment they have shared as husband and wife. In their 20s, Tony and Minnie began dating, and they were soon married, but they had known one another since they were little. Minnie claimed to have met Tony while they were living in Holland as young children. In the end, they grew up together, got married, and relocated to Canada to establish their successful gold mining business. Since then, Tony and Minnie have raised three children and developed their gold mining business into one of Gold Rush's most prosperous teams. Regarding their collaboration, Tony remarked, It's a 50-50 game. By 2021, the Beats family had amassed $30 million in gold in just seven years. Source. Discovery. Tony Beats, managing domestic strife on Gold Rush. Although Tony Beats and his wife Minnie have always considered themselves to be family, one member of the family has made things difficult for them this season on Gold Rush. Kevin Beats said he was taking a season off to his parents via video chat, if the show's editing is to be believed. Beats did not appear at the beginning of the season. They had already arrived to begin working when this happened. Tony Beats, who was typically in control of the factory, had to find out what happened to his son Kevin after he failed to show up. Tony was informed by Kevin and his wife that they intended to take the season off to tend to their garden. Although Tony wasn't pleased, he moved on and gave Monica command over Kevin. This demonstrated that the family as a whole was still operating as one unit. Help us wish Tony Beats and Minnie, who are celebrating their 43rd anniversary, a happy anniversary. Share in the comments area below your best beats moments. Thanks for watching my video.